Welcome on this video. I want to respond to the narrative that's used by both balanced and force free trainers when they refer or reference marking a behavior. Okay, now here's the missing piece of that whole puzzle when trainers um, use that language, they're using that narrative, attempting to establish a picture of change, okay, within a response based framework is that what's happening here is that trainers are not actually, actually um, reconciling the current state of the relationship, okay? When they make statements like that, they're assuming things that more often than not simply aren't true based on the current state of the relationship and the perceptions of the dog. And so again, the way to look at this, okay? And I lined this stuff up with the parenting example because it aligns almost perfectly, is be like saying, again, just stepping into a relationship problem with a already selfish child. See, there's the kicker right there. And simply starting to use motivators, okay, to get the child to, say, make their bed and pick up their toys, do good, good deeds. But there's no depth or anything, okay? There's no even sort of any pause actually to even consider whether um, you, whether doing it that way presents a problem sets up a counterfeit picture by way of a total lack of regard as to how dots are connecting and the absence of influence itself by way of how a parent is interacting with the child it's just saying okay here you know these responses that are going to happen by way of using motivators you can trust what you see i mean just really really think about that this is where people are not the dog training community as a, as a whole isn't stepping back from any of this to apply critical thinking okay there, and this is again then layer this up with all the problems and connect some dots you'll start to you start to understand exactly what i'm saying just how big of an issue this really is it's it's absolutely tremendous tremendous problem in the dog training world this is this is all you there's all your problems right there to you know to try to pass that off as the picture itself as you can trust that by way of the sit down come and stay absolutely ridiculous and again this is why you talk about marking a behavior ask yourself the question that word where'd that word even come from how's that word being referenced okay it's being misrepresented based on getting dogs to respond that way a complete lack of depth and not even connecting dogs properly so you know you're marking a response and the response itself may not even represent anything beyond just a response and the mo and the perception is not changing at all so the word behavior doesn't even belong in that and and this is the problem understand that would be the same thing it'd be like say with a child making their bed marking the behavior well what the heck is that now you used a you know a, an xbox game you bribed your way because again we, then we talk about this issue about when does bribery become bribery because bribery we don't even take any time to even consider the current state of the relationship that's when it becomes bribery when um say a child's already become selfish i mean unbelievable i mean this is so simple to me understand this is so simple it should be so simple yet see and this is the problem people bought into this and now it's like everyone's making it complicated like saying well because they're they're entrenched they're turned over this stuff it's like and now the problem is if you've taken and invested years and years and years into this idea and someone comes up and says well it's just basically foolishness like it's, it's totally ridiculous well you're not going to take that so well but that that's the truth i understand that's what's going on this is why it's so unsettled look at the dog train well this is why all the divisiveness and the debate and the arguing well if it was if this idea was truly science if it really held up under its own weight well, there wouldn't be any debate it, people would just say oh this is great i mean this is the way no it's a joke and now people can't can't even have a conversation because it's just too much to take i guess it's just too much too much hard truth so again there's there it is okay there it is so again i encourage people to think about what i'm saying um you know you want to follow a interaction based approach i talk about that check out my videos in fact i have a 10 part series called learning theory breakdown on my website very informative i break this stuff down but to the balanced trainer or force free trainer you probably have to bring along a 
you know, a uh, defibrillator because it's going to give you a heart attack. I mean, you're not going to be able to take the stress. But it's it's the truth, okay? Because it implodes all of it. But that's it is what it is. I'm just a messenger. Understand that I understand the problem. So, but there it is. Um, it's at the beginning. It's it's a complete disregard to connect dots to even consider the current state of the relationship and then you start motivating dogs that way well it sets up a counterfeit picture for so many it should be so obvious just think about the selfish child if you were to do that with a selfish child you should expect problems you should expect them okay i mean you should just anticipate it but the dog training world is very very sideways thanks for watching